Waking up at 4 a.m. and then practicing meditation for one hour to eating only plant-based meals and to not keeping a phone with you are some of the top habits that can make you super successful. Well, I'm just messing with you. And this video is not about these crazy, unrealistic habits. This video is for practical habits that can make you a better student. Recently, I was working with my students and one of them asked me a very important question. Can you share some habits that can make me a better student? It was a very interesting question and after my session, I thought about making a video on the same topic because I know a lot of students genuinely want to do good in their school or college and actually in life actually. So here are five habits that I have seen giving my students insane results as they have become better students, getting better at academics, gaining considerably more time to do things that they love and more in control of their time and life. It's like top of their school or college game and life in every stage. So here are five habits that are helping my students succeed. No gimmick, just real life examples that you can apply to. Let's dive in. Habit number one, healthy sleep cycle. Oh man. I know what you must be thinking. Sleep? Oh no, that is something I can't do on time. Well, I get it. And I don't want you to push to change anything. But hear me out. Research has proven that sleep is your number one superpower for the human brain. And if you want to stay healthy and happy with positive thinking and amazing energy the whole day, you must have healthy sleep cycle. So what is it? Well, in general, you must aim to sleep for about six to eight hours, preferably around seven hours. Now, it's not just about sleeping seven hours, but what time are you sleeping is also important. So if you sleep at 4 a.m. and wake up at 12 noon, that's not a healthy sleep for your body. And I know you must be doing it. Now, as per research, the best time to sleep is between 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. Now I understand. You are in your teens or 20s and that is no way a sleep time for you. And I get it a lot in my sessions also from my students about that time. So I advise my students to sleep by 11 p.m. or 12 midnight till about 6 or 7 a.m. depending upon your school or college timings. Now This is probably the single most effective habit that can keep you in the right mindset and body shape as well. Yes, many researchers have proven a direct link between your body shape and your sleep pattern. Don't push your sleep cycle beyond noon. Oh, don't push your sleep cycle beyond midnight to 1 or 2 a.m. That's really not good for your overall well-being in the long term. Make sure to push away your temptation to talk on phone at night or watch Netflix. Be wise because your future self will thank you for the rest of your life. Habit number two is after school routine. Let's talk about the power of a solid after school routine. Now picture this. You come home from school or college exhausted and first thing you want to do is crash on the couch with your phone. But here's the thing. Those few moments of scrolling can quickly turn into hours, right? And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Think about this. If you don't have a routine, you will waste your entire evening. So make a plan for yourself. Now, after school, you should relax for about 10-15 minutes, just enough time to recharge. In fact, if you feel sleepy after coming back from school or college, then take a 20 minute nap. Yes, this number is proven by research to be most effective to recharge you, a nap under 20 minutes. In fact, I do it sometimes. When I am feeling super tired, I set my alarm for 25 minutes because I need five minutes to doze off and I will wake after 20 minutes of power nap. Make sure it's not more if you will feel more lazy if you sleep more. So 20 minutes is the perfect time. And I know sometimes it will be very difficult for you to get up, but you need to push yourself out of the bed and get to the work. Now, after getting up, spend another 10, 15 minutes getting ready for work, cleaning up your desk, grabbing a snack or organizing your to-do list. This routine is like flipping a switch. It will mentally prepare you to get stuff done. Work one hour in the afternoon or evening if you have extra classes, plan that. And then in the late evening, focus for longer hours, two, three, four hours. Knock off your assignments, knock off your homework, whatever it is. And it works like magic. And this is what my student wrote after following this process. One day, I came home completely drained after a long day of classes and basketball practice. I wanted nothing more than to veg out on my couch. But instead, I followed your routine. And within 30 minutes, I was in the zone cranking out homework. And by dinner time, I had knocked out an entire assignment and felt so much better for it. And you know what? You can do it too by having an after school routine. Next up is a habit that can save you from countless all nighters, distributing your work evenly over time. Now, if you do have crazy assignments where you need to read 50 pages followed by writing 20 pages and you are someone who procrastinates this work till the very end, here is a solution for you. While most students will wait until the last minute cramming late into the night and building up so much stress, 
A better way is to have a better time management and rather better project management skills by distributing your work evenly. So reading five pages a day will take you only 10 days of non-stressful time to complete this assignment. During this, you will never feel overwhelmed and will manage your workload like a champ. Now, this approach didn't just apply to reading assignments, whether it was solving math problems or writing essays. Breaking tasks into small daily chunk will help you stay on top of your work throughout stress time. Trust me, spreading out your work is a game changer. Habit number four, confronting knowledge gaps and asking for help. Here's a habit that might be uncomfortable, but it is absolutely necessary. Confronting your knowledge gaps. Now, we've all been there. You get a test back, see a few wrong answers and think, oh, those were just silly mistakes. But let me tell you, brushing off those mistakes is the missed opportunity. Now, back in college, I got a backlog in one of the subjects. After much frustration, I sat down and went through every single question I got wrong. I realized I didn't fully understand certain concepts. So I spent extra time reviewing that material, asking my professor questions, and even asking other students who did well in that paper until it clicked. The result, my next attempt score was 85 out of 100. The point is, don't shy away from what you don't know. Dive into it, figure out where you went wrong and fix it. It might be tough, but that's where real learning happens. Don't cover up problems, own them and feel like a warrior to solve those problems. This will not only make you a better student, but a better employer, better uh, entrepreneur and a better person in life in general. And also very important, ask for help. Whether it's for help, opportunities or guidance, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. I've seen a lot of students making this mistake. If you don't know anything, ask for help. If you want something, ask for that opportunity. Maybe you want to be an editor in your school or college newspaper. Ask for the process and work for it. I know a lot of students would want to do something, but are afraid to ask for it or think they are not good enough, but these are not true. There is one line that I follow as a rule in my life. Ask and you shall receive. You need to ask for it to get it. Now the lesson here, don't wait for opportunities to come to you. Go out and ask for them. You'll be surprised at what you can achieve by just putting yourself out there. Follow this. Habit number five, do something you enjoy daily. Finally, let's talk about balance. Yes, studying and working hard are important, but so is taking time for yourself. Doing something you enjoy every day, even if it's just for 10, 15 minutes, can make a huge difference in your overall well-being. I know school or college days can be super busy juggling school, tuitions, college applications, extracurricular, or if you are in college, then juggling classes, extracurricular, job applications. For college applications, it is not always easy all the time. But make a point to do something that you love every day, whether it is playing a guitar, watching a quick episode of your favorite TV show, or just going for a walk. These small breaks can keep you sane and actually will make you more productive when you get back to study or work. Now you might be thinking, I don't have time for that, <laughs> but trust me, taking even a little time for yourself can prevent burnout and keep you motivated. So yeah, that's it. There you have it. Five habits that can help you succeed as a student. They're not just about waking up at 3 a.m. or taking freezing cold showers. They are practical, realistic, and most importantly, they work. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Or if you are a parent, share it with your kids. Until next time, keep striving for your best. I'll see you soon.